Have you ever wondered about the comprehensive approaches used in nursing? Today we're going to talk about the Newman Systems Model, a significant nursing theory developed by Betty Newman, a renowned nursing professor and researcher. This model, proposed in the 1970s, guides nurses and other healthcare professionals in providing holistic and patient-centered care. Let's explore the key concepts of the Newman Systems Model. Firstly, we have the central core. This represents an individual's basic structure, encapsulating their physical, emotional, and spiritual components. Next, we encounter stressors. These are factors, either internal or external, that can disrupt a person's stability and well-being. They can be intrapersonal, interpersonal, and extrapersonal. Then we have the lines of defense. These are protective mechanisms that individuals use to maintain their stability. They can be primary, secondary, or tertiary. Following the lines of defense, we come across the lines of resistance. These mechanisms are employed to protect against stressors and maintain stability. Additionally, there is the reaction to stressors. Individuals react in various ways to stressors, including physical, psychological, and emotional responses. Lastly, we have prevention and intervention. In the Newman Systems model, the primary goal of nursing is to assist individuals in maintaining or achieving maximum system stability. This can be achieved through prevention and intervention measures. To sum up, the Newman Systems model provides a framework for nurses to assess a patient's stability, identify potential stressors, and develop interventions to maintain or restore that stability. It considers the physical, psychological, social, and environmental aspects of a person's well-being, making it a truly holistic approach. This model is widely used in nursing practice and education, helping nurses deliver patient-centered care and support individuals in maintaining their health and well-being.